Okay, so I went to a local merchant and asked about some offcuts, and yeah, I could get some offcuts at a good price. So I got this is 18 gauge mild steel. Got a nice big sheet of that. Uh, I've already cut a corner out. You'll see why in a minute. Um, two quid, I think I paid for that. And I also picked up a couple of large, much thicker um, steel plates. Idea being that I can clean this up and use it if I weld a little uh, a little leg on here to attach the the, uh, the earth. I can use this as a welding plate so I can put stuff on it and it'll be much better because it's so much bigger and wider. But I grab another one just in case I fancy trying to weld something a bit heavier gauge. So I pick those up. I have wire wheeled the dragonfly so it's lost a lot of its colouring but it's important I do that to smooth everything out. But the main thing is the wings because it has no wings. So I took out that corner as you saw of that sheet and cut out four pieces this size and I've stuck templates onto these two and now what I'm going to do is mark those onto it grind, cut, grind, I don't know, whatever I can think of this is, say, 18 gauges, 1.2 mil, I think um, get them to shape then I'm going to clamp that on top of the next one and then grind that to shape so I get matching pairs and the best way I can think of marking this out is using a sharpie and going outwards and then you get a um, the black all around and you can see the edge you need to grind to so I need to find my pen oh actually two things one I'm not going to get it out because I can't even get it in this space here but someone sent me a massive roll of bubble wrap and I mean a massive roll like probably a hundred meters thank you that was extremely kind of you and I've also had this arrive to the PO box and I have no idea what it is I was going to do like a mega mail opening video as you know um, but the thing is, I don't think I'm going to get that much stuff, so uh oh, please, why? Carolina Reaper chili limes made with the world's hot chilies, boiled hard sweets. Two. Uh -huh. Why send me two bags? It's just ridiculous. I will try these, but not right now. So that will come, I promise, at some point I will do that. Why? Why should. Why? I said no more spicy stuff. I said don't do it. Why am I promising to do it? You're an idiot. Don't send me spice, no. Oh, I can't win. Okay, give up with that. See if this is any better. Yeah, that's better. Now I want to chop off the big chunks and then I guess I'm going to use a die grinder to get it to final size. I might use the bench grinder for a bit, I don't know. I don't want to use die grinders because you get covered in the bloody little bits of metal that stick in you, it's horrible. Off. I have my shape to grind to tape off. Never leave tape on something you're going to grind because what's going to happen, because I've done this before thinking oh, I'll be fine, the metal heats up obviously and then the tape melts and then you can't get it off. So don't do it. It's not a good idea. If I take a straight line through there and a straight line down there, possibly even grind a bit off. Actually I could probably just use an angle grinder, that would be the quickest way. I'm going to cut some corners off like that and then I'll probably use an angle grinder and and shape it that way because it's only it's only a mil thick, so uh, an 80 grit disc will actually take that down nice and smoothly. Um, okay, you can use tin snips on this, so I can take some of it off that way. Of course, one concern is I've got to try and weld these on, and I could blow a hole in them. It's something I'm going to have to practice before I try. Maybe one of these little pieces. Good grip strength test. Okay, I've come to my final method, and this is not something I advise, but it is the way that's working nicest. See how nicely that's coming to form. I'm going to start on the other one, and let this cool down a bit, and then I'm going to go backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards till I'm done. 
But uh, it's fine that these can be slightly different to the pattern, as long as when I copy them onto the second piece we get the same thing, it's going to be all good. I am still really concerned about how I'm welding these on. I'm kind of hooping it and thinking let's find another way of attaching them other than welding. If you are too demanding or too greedy, your mind is not rich and self-sufficient. When your mind becomes demanding, when you long for something, you will end up violating your own precepts, not to tell lies. Okay, a lot of grinding later, and we now have one wing and the mark for the next one to carve out. So I'm now going to put this one on here and do the same thing. I'm actually scoring around it and then going with the pen, so even if the pen gets taken off I've still got a score line, and if not I've got the pen which is much more visible. It's just very time consuming doing stuff like building stuff by hand like this. It's one of the things that sometimes people don't appreciate. Dremeling, grinding, lots of other things that would be boring to show you, trust me. But we now have two matching wings. Now I'm just going to repeat the process for the um, other ones. Two more matching wings, which means we have our four matching wings. But my major concern right now is how I'm going to weld these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean these up. Uh, round the edges off and do all that stuff and then I'm going to cut out another piece and I'm going to try and weld it onto something to see if I can get it to not blow apart and actually weld. I hope that goes well otherwise I'm going to have to rethink attachment method but I want to work that out now before I try because there are other options available to me. Okay so the wings are roughed out, I've softened the edges a bit, I still need to think about like how I'm going to attach these and stuff. but. To the, that end, I've got this plate that I want to use as a welding plate. I've wire wheeled it, I've cleaned it off to get all the grease off of it. I've cut out a little piece from uh, another sheet and made a little tab, and this will be the earthing tab so I can connect the earth onto it. And I'm going to try and TIG weld it. I'd normally MIG weld that because that's so thick, but I want to try this. But I want to try to TIG weld it for, you know, let's try. I just want to strike an arc on this and see if the 90 amps I'm going to try is going to be enough. I'm using a 2.4mm tungsten, I'm hoping it will be. Let's try using a bit of filler as well. This isn't clean, so, well it isn't as clean, so it might not work so well, but in theory it'll only be better on the other. Anyway, let's just have a go. It would need earthing though, wouldn't it? That's how hot it gets, it's set fire to the edge of the table. Now it's tacked, I can pop it up on something so I don't set fire to the bench. These um, stones, these samples people sent me have come in amazingly handy. Wow, I actually blew a hole in the corner. No, it doesn't matter, it's held on, it's going to do its job, but... Mm, mm, yeah, too many amps. And that should just connect on. Oh, actually. Why make the earthing lead half the length of the torch lead? It's so irritating. And the question is, can I fusion weld it? Ooh, a 
Gucci. Look at that. If I'd actually started at the other end, it would have been good. Just throw a little bit of fill. Ah, oh, this is fantastic news. It has not blown any holes in it. I can fusion weld it um, to get it to tack in place. It's actually melting very nicely. It's also very, very hot. Okay, things are moving fast. I've decided to go with quite plain wings um, because it isn't natural. It needs to look different. I nearly did that with my uh, big dragonfly. I was like, I'll make it naturalistic, and it was like, but it's not. I'm just going to very quickly put a dot of weld on the end of here just to get these two to stick together and then I can match the other one and then we can do the bends once it's welded. Yep, that's enough. Didn't need any filler. So now what I've got to try and do is reproduce that. Now comes the really scary bit. Get one on and then match the other. Gonna be the key. No! No, this is what I didn't want to happen. Okay, so basically I started welding the wings on and I got into problem after problem that compounded and caused me a lot of bother. So the result I got wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's very similar in a way to the other Dragonfly. Um, and this is my first piece and I have to realise these things. I think I know where I was going wrong in certain places, but I have actually finished it. Um, it took me about another hour. So this has actually taken me about two days to make. That is a problem in itself because it's taken two days and three quarters of a bottle of argon through all the practice and everything so <laughs> okay so here you go you can't see the bluing on it in this light very well and yeah there were some problems with welding the top that's going to darken that's going to um it's because i've gone back over it recently i need to heat it up again and do some things to it to try and darken it but it will turn to the same sort of color as everything else so this is definitely a learning experience a lot of time and cost has gone into this little thing. What exactly is going to happen to this? I don't know. I should sell it. I should definitely sell it. But it's my first piece with a TIG welder. It's not perfect. It's very pernickety, the little things that I'm getting fussy about. But it's just, I guess that's built into me. It's kind of why I do these sorts of things. Of course, the other option is I make it into something more elaborate and then sell that. Learning new skills is expensive in time and that means you're not doing other stuff but it was important to start learning these skills it was amazing that that person supported me with a TIG welder and there are things that I've already started trying and thinking about that it uniquely can do that nothing else can uh, including this when I get my brain is around some of these issues you saw this welded perfectly no problems at all but I think this is because it's so much of a smaller nut and your problem is when you're trying to weld something very thin onto something very thick you have to get this very hot and melting before you can put this on because if you don't you're going to blow it apart these are all things you have to learn and yes with errors you will learn in time anyway thank you very much for watching thank you very much for supporting me if you feel like supporting this channel there are many ways to do that links in the description there's the etsy store with i've got a clock on there and i've got stickers and keychains and stuff there's also the merch stores and there's also patreon and uh, and the paypal link if you wanted to do something directly I like it, it's cute. It's cute. Okay, I've got to go. Bye bye. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.